Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be talking about From Scratch by Tembi Locke and the subtitle to this is A Memoir of Love, Sicily, and Finding Home. So in this book Tembi Locke explores a very sort of specific part of her life which is when she met and fell in love with and married her husband. While she was I believe in college she ended up going to Italy and like studying abroad and while she was there she ended up meeting the guy who would eventually become her husband. And so the story is partially like following that section of her life like meeting her husband, falling in love, all of that different stuff but also her husband ends up getting diagnosed with cancer and ends up passing away as well. And so you follow sort of that section of their life as well a little bit seeing what it's like for Tembi to be a caregiver and the struggles that obviously their family goes through and then you follow sort of the life that Tembi has to build once he passes away becoming a widower and a mo now a mother and trying to figure out what their life is like going forward. So this is a really beautiful and poignant memoir. There's a lot of really great things in here that Tembi Locke explores. One of the things I really enjoyed is the fact that like it's not told in a linear fashion and so you get sort of like these glimpses of her life in sort of like the current day of like being a widower and a mother and trying to grapple with what's going on but you also then just get like flashbacks into certain parts of their life together whether it be like the first time they met or when they finally started dating or when they moved to the United States together or like all of these different things and even though it like jumps around in time a lot I feel like the way that it was put together is really well done. You don't really necessarily get like a linear timeline of what their marriage is like but I don't think that's necessary in the the situation. I feel like all of these sort of like glimpses and stories and anecdotes give you a good sense for both Tembi Locke and her husband and what their relationship was like. It's a really beautiful story because Tembi Locke's husband is Sicilian and his family basically expected him to marry a Sicilian woman and by marrying a black American woman he like broke a lot of rules basically in their family. And so you see the consequences of those choices and sort of how they deal with it as a couple and sort of how her in-laws family basically deals with it and the results and consequences from all of that. But then once Tembi Locke becomes a widower she also has to try to figure out like what's going to happen in her life but also her daughter's life now that she is the only one around. Like she has to make the choice of like how much of her in-laws family and her Sicilian side basically this her daughter is going to have exposure to and what she's going to know about and all of that stuff. And it's obviously like a really difficult choice because she's dealing with her own grief and then she also has to deal with her in-laws who she doesn't have like the best relationship with because she knows like her marriage was sort of like this thing that was looked down upon and you see sort of like how all of that gets dealt with over the course of this book in a really great way. It's this really beautiful book about like love and loss and reconciliation. There's also a lot of really great discussion about food in here because not only was Tembi Locke's husband Sicilian and therefore food is part of the equation but he was also a chef and so you see a lot of discussions about Sicilian food and the way that he cooked and Tembi Locke learning to cook herself. There's also a discussion about the way the sort of Sicilian community works that I really appreciated because it reminded me a lot of the way that like the Indian community works like how close and tight-knit that everyone can be and at the same time like the way that that can feel like weirdly invasive like Americans don't know how to handle stuff like that because like everyone in a community knows everything about everyone all the time. Kind of like small town life is the closest thing you can get to. But also that like sense of community is like really strong. Like everyone in this town knows who Tembi Locke is because they know her husband and her husband's family. And so when she comes to town like people are providing their condolences even though she has like no idea who these people are. But they like care for this family and therefore they care about her and sort of like the connectedness that that community creates is like something that you don't really find here in the United States or at least not quite as often and especially depending on where you are and things like that but it feels slightly more rare here. So yeah it's not a very long book and I ended up listening to this one on audio because Tembi Locke narrates it herself so that is just like beautifully done. Uh, Tembi Locke is an actress and so like the reading of this audiobook is like beautiful. I feel like even if she wasn't reading her own book she would be a really great audiobook narrator but obviously like her telling her own story it doesn't really feel like you're reading a book at times because you just 
feel like you're listening to her talk about her life, which basically she is. So yeah, if you want to pick up this book, I definitely recommend the audiobook. I ended up reading this book in the week leading up to Valentine's Day, which felt like really apt uh, in my opinion because like it is this beautiful love story even though it obviously deals with like loss and grief and things along those lines like following this couple like meet each other and like fall in love with each other was honestly like really really sweet like I feel like they have a really fantastic sort of like me cute almost so yeah I think that this is just like a really sweet really well done memoir it's not one that goes like super deep into details about like every aspect of what it was like for Tembi Luck to be a caretaker or anything along those lines but again I think she just provides these really nice highlights and anecdotes that give you a glimpse as to what their life was like, what their relationship was like, um, and some of the struggles that they dealt with as a couple and sort of how they overcame them and the, you know, struggles that they dealt with with their family and sort of the reconciliation there as well. So this is very much like a high level view of a very specific part of someone's life. But I feel like, honestly, like this is like a really great readable book. Like this is a book that I would recommend to someone if they want something to read while like on vacation or something like that because I found it to be like really engrossing but it's like light enough that it's also a book that I can imagine like being perfect for vacation but maybe that's also because part of it takes place in Sicily so <laughs> That might have had something to do with it as well. So yeah, those are my quick thoughts on From Scratch by Tembi Lock. If you've read this book, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of it. Or if you have any questions about the book, feel free to leave that down in the comment section as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.